Hi guys, Silent Thunder here with a quick guide on how to do a reset scan using Trade Skill Master. Basically what a reset scan is, is buying items off the auction house as well as canceling your items to reset the price to a higher price, a higher selling price in the end. Uh, this sometimes works. Uh, I do it occasionally on my glyphs only. Um, I'll use the reset scan feature. Other items I reset I do manually like my gems or living steel items. I'll buy them out manually and uh, by manually I mean just looking up the items physically and buying them out instead of using the automatic feature. So to set up this reset scan what you're going to do is open up Trade Skill Master, go to Module Operations, and then to Auctioning. Now I have one made for my glyphs, since that's what I use the reset feature on. And this is where you would have made your posting operation and, and such. Your, uh, but you actually want this Reset tab for this one. So under the Reset tab, you're going to Enable Reset Scan. Uh, you set a maximum quantity you want to buy. So for me, I set it to 15 glyphs. would be the maximum I would want to buy off the auction house. Um, maximum inventory quantity. So when you're done buying out, um, a combination of your maximum that you wanted to buy and how many you already have in your bags. So if I have 8 in my bags right now, I have my maximum inventory quantity set to 15. That means it's only going to buy 7 more tops. Uh, but if I had none in my bags, it would buy up to 15. Uh, I just happen to set my maximum inventory quantity to the same number. Uh, eventually I may bump this up to 20 so that I have a stack of each maximum after doing a buyout. So, maximum reset cost. This is the maximum amount that you want to spend to buy all of the items for each item. So each glyph is considered a different item, for example. So I would spend a maximum of 300 gold to reset each one. Minimum reset profit is the minimum that you want to gain by resetting the price. So for me, I have it set to 100 gold. For example, my glyphs, if nobody's selling a glyph, I post it for 700 gold. If I reset a glyph, I reset it back to 700 gold. I know it sounds crazy high, but I actually sell quite a few glyphs at 700 gold uh, after doing a reset. And on my server, it will stay high for a few days, but gradually uh, people make the 50 and 100 gold undercuts, sometimes higher, and they drop the price quite quickly. So make sure you pick a good time to do a reset scan, preferably when you're going to be able to camp the auction house afterwards. Uh, price resolution, I didn't even change that. And maximum cost per item. So for me, it's 25 gold. Uh, I don't want to spend more than 25 gold per glyph to reset it. And that's it. Once you have that done, uh, you can start your scan. Your scan is on your auctioning tab. I'll show you here in a second. I've already run the scan because it does take a couple minutes. Uh, but you would have your start post scan your start cancel scan and then your start reset scan is on the right and I'll just quickly show you so um, so the item of course I did glyphs uh, the quantity and then the brackets it has yours so for example this one here there's 11 of them on the auction house none of them are mine since there's no brackets like this one there's 12 on the auction house two are mine this one has 11 on the auction house none of them are mine so my target price, that's what it's going to get reset to uh, if I reset it, which is 500 gold. Somebody has one up there for 500 gold, it looks like, that I'm not going to be buying. Uh, profit per item, so by the time I buy them out, so for me to buy out all 11, it's going to cost me 181 gold. Um, and it's telling me that I'm going to make a profit of 483 gold per item. So that's the target price mine is the uh, price per glyph that I'm buying them at. So you can just click on these 
and I'll buy this one out quickly just to show you. So there's a bunch of glyphs here. You just click on one and just buy out. I'm just going to spam this button and buy them all. And there, I've bought them all. And I've reset that one. Now one like this one here, I'll do this one as well since uh, two of them are mine. So in this case, you're going to buy out, and then you're going to cancel the other two, and then just buy out the rest. And if you change your mind once you're in here and you don't want to buy these out or anything, you can just return to summary. Or, in this case, I've already started, so I'm going to finish it off. And there. And then when I go get those glyphs out of my mailbox, I'll be able to repost them on the auction house at a much higher price and uh, hopefully get some sales and make some big profits on them. Uh, be careful doing this if you're new to the markets or you don't have a lot of gold to start with. Uh, you want to have some experience with the market you're dealing in. For example, in glyphs, some realms have people that glyph all the markets, meaning they post all of their glyphs at 20 or 30 gold no matter what it's selling for. So you want to watch out for those people on your realms. And uh, so also I'll quickly show you how to start this reset scan. Now that I've demonstrated how to buy out a few things and explain what these tabs mean. So when you're starting your scan, you have start post scan, start cancel scan, and start reset scan. And if you have multiple groups, you can actually deselect your groups and just do glyphs or maybe my test group, and you could just start a reset scan on specific groups. Same goes when you're posting or canceling, for that matter. You can do specific groups. You don't have to do them all. When you first open this tab, all groups will be selected by default, but you can deselect them all and just do specific groups. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll have some more videos coming soon.